Hey family. So today just been like a real stressful day. Um, today is January 6th. It's 10 p.m. And um, today was just a historic day, you know. Uh, angry white people being bought a Capitol Hill. And for me, I think I'm just more disgusted, even as a pastor, because you guys know I pastor Pray to Slay Ministries. But the truth be told, I am just frustrated because... If those were African Americans or Hispanic people, um, you know, they would have been shot. They wouldn't even got as close as, you know, to the gate. You know what I mean? And just to see that, just to see that it's two different laws in place. And this is where we've been screaming forever. And, you know, we get no backup, really, from the white Christian community, you know. Um, I don't know if it's because it doesn't really affect them, so they don't really get what we're saying. But today was a wake up call for America. Um, you know, I hate to make it a white or black thing, but it's just the truth. You know, a bunch, the, the BLM movement, they had the military out there and everything, you know, and was called thugs and all types of things. And these people were still called protesters. That was terrorism. So, you know, my heart was really heavy about that. But I just had to really just stay in prayer. Um, I had to um, remind myself, you know, who who I am in Christ and, um, you know, just who I am as a person, you know, not even just in Christ, but as a person. And when you know better, you do better. And I know that this world, right? America is built on ignorance. I mean, you look at the history of America is built on violence is built on ignorance. So, you know, you got to make sure you don't get caught up in it. You know, you got to learn how to speak your truth, but not get caught up. But for the most part, that thing just really just messed me up. So I'm sitting here with Kaylin, my boo over there. Um, we about to watch some movies or watch a vlog or somebody real quick. And I do have a new camera, so it's about to be popping. I am about to be dropping videos and story times back after back after back. I'm going to get my toes done, you coming. I'm going to the supermarket, you coming. Like... I am not playing like every time I turned around something was coming against my my vlogs because uh the last time it was the volume and things of that nature so you know my cleanup vlogs it was so many things like so many ideas that I have that I want to do you know even just to build this channel and it was just so hard so now that God bless me and I have my Canaan man it's go it's about to go down y'all so um yeah but that's pretty much you know the day I had, um, I didn't really get outside once I seen that and just was watching the news and my mouth just was dropped all day. And then I had, I went from emotions to praying, emotions to praying because I have to constantly check my flesh. You know, you can't preach this and you ain't living it. You know what I'm saying? Like I had to constantly check my flesh to make sure that, um, you know, I respond well eternally because sometimes it's just matters of the heart. So, um, this is going to be the end probably for this night. I know I have a couple of errands I got to do this week. And I'm definitely going to take you guys with me because I'm not playing. But you guys make sure you hit that notification bell to know when Foul BTV is on and popping. And subscribe and enjoy the ride because this 2021 is going to be a big year for my ministry, for me. This is gonna be the year that I become a multi-millionaire. This is gonna be the year that my church grows and everybody in my church um, will be eating, amen. And you know, we'll have nothing to worry about and we'll be responding well. Like Pray to Slay Ministries, um, we're kicking down some doors this year. So stay tuned guys, I'm gonna catch y'all later. All right, guys, so I cleaned up the kitchen just a little bit. We got still got some boxes here that needs to be broken up and stuff like that. Um, but for the most part, I, um, you know, just straightened it up a little bit because today was just uh, burning a candle. Took out some food to cook for tomorrow. I've been trying to do a lot of organic and everything and of course you know the kids put the stuff up they don't use none of the things i got here i need to really put that stuff in there but maybe later so yeah i am um 
I'm just chilling. Just chilling. Watching a little YouTube. I don't know who she is, but that's what I'm doing. Kids asleep. It's like 1 a.m. Beautiful, beautiful. And um, yeah. So uh, that's what I'm doing. Told you I'm be picking up this camera. <laughs> But, um, yeah, you know, I am actually, like, I feel so much better, you know? Like, just sometimes you just gotta really sit with God, get your emotions together, you know, resume. You know, trust God to answer your prayers and just resume. Put your phone on a charger, get off the phone. So I'm just gonna finish watching a little YouTube, maybe you'll watch a movie. Cause today, oh, this weekend was just really like a chill week for me. God um, instructed me to chill. So, all right. Talk to y'all later. Hey, family. So it's the next day, and um, I remembered I got my new camera. So I was like, why don't I uh, record? Um, I would say now this is like lunch or whatever. I've been fasting and everything and praying and posting. Um, you know, we we are on a 40 day fast. Usually, why is this always up, guys? This, uh, oh, because it's right there. I put the garbage right here. But usually, I um, when I fast, nobody knows. You know, the Bible says the fast in secret. And, you know, just be personal and intentional. But um, the reason why others know, because me... We're doing it corporately, Pray to Slay Ministries. You know I'm the pastor of that church. So um, we're fasting. Um, with that, this fast is 40 days. It's no carbs, no starches, no, um, any types of starches, only from fruits and vegetables, and no sugars, which carbs do after it breaks down in your body becomes sugar. So I thank God for doing that, leading us to that, because that means that... Um, you know, we will be healthy. You know, he's creating a healthy lifestyle as well as giving us clarity. We'll be hearing from him more. So I'm just thankful to God. I just say this to say that I'm about to make uh, my lunch, which is just going to be chicken, some kale that I have, and um, get that out the freezer. Uh, quick tip, too. Let me take this down because I have the uh, trash can over there. Quick tip. When you have extra kale that you didn't have a deep freezer, guys. That you didn't use, put it in the freezer so it doesn't go old. Or all greens, just um, you know, I love vegetables and fruits and stuff, but if you put it in the freezer, it will preserve. So I'm just gonna make like a kale dish with some chicken, some garlic, and um um red bell pepper, carrots, and season it up a little bit, and let's just see how it turns out. So I'm gonna sit you guys here. I can see what I'm doing. I hope you guys can see. And I do have on my waist trimmer. <laughs> Somebody's hitting my phone. All right, guys. So I already have the chicken here clean. I just didn't season it. Um, let me try to get a little closer here. I didn't uh, season it, so I'm going to season it. The seasons that I'm using, some magic, uh, a little Lori's, just a little bit, because I am going to use chicken broth uh, packages, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, minced organic garlic. I already have some onions chopped up. I cleaned my carrots, you know, I skinned them. And I just have to cut my bell pepper. And I have my strainer so I can put some of my kale in here. I do want to get crushed uh, tomatoes. Let's get some crushed tomatoes. And we have some organic crushed tomatoes. So, um, yeah. Now, for those that's interested in this waist trimmer, I did show you guys on the previous vlogs how this waist trimmer, um, it is for my company, is different from many. 
um, face trimmer, waist trimmers. this but we're gonna have to oh, this one you can't get cheap stuff this one was a little cheap guys I'm not gonna lie my um picture hold over here so I'm just gonna put it against the wall real quick because it's stopping me from cooking anyway um the waist shaper which is a waist trainer it has the hook the zipper the strap is three layers. It does snatch you. This is a large. I started on the first row. I am on the second now, working my way to the third. If you're interested, it will be in the link description. And we have shapers and we have detoxy, the bomb. So, uh, yeah, let me just get situated here. I got to get another frame for that. Somebody bought that for me. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Lord knows that's what I do. All right, so we're opening up our fresh peppers and I want to put some of the, oh, this is not kale, this is collard greens. I want to put some of the, Even though it says it's triple wash, um, you know, the Bible says test all things. I make sure, honey, I don't got time to be playing with people, okay? I make sure that I know what I'm giving my kids. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the onion. And I'm not going to boil it. I'm going to spray some avocado oil on it. Let me go grab that for you guys so I can show you. The avocado oil is great for high heat because um, olive oil is not that good. Once you put olive oil on high heat, it really turns toxic. It's not good, guys, and we always do it, but it's not good. That's a pepper. I'm going to put half of... The chicken bouillon. Now, again, being that you got the chicken bouillon, put some more garlic pepper on it. Being that you got the chicken um, bouillon, you should not be adding mad lorries because lorries is salt, okay? So the only thing that has salt in it that I am putting in it in this moment is the chicken bouillon powder mix and the lorries. And this right here, hope it's focusing. It's the minced organic garlic. Just put a teaspoon of that. And my hands is clean. Mix it. Before, as I was prepping and stuff, you know, I clean my hands. So this is just a couple of chicken wings. Smells so good already. Then I'm gonna add half of, well actually I can add all of it of my onions no way to cut them up i just cut them up take in my green pepper i already have rinsed it off i always cut the two ends off my my cousin sister danny bought me these knives i love them i do have to get a knife set though i usually keep some of my seeds in because for the flavor to me it gives a little flavor i um do have to get like a nice knife set not just for aesthetics and take this off because i already got most of the seeds on the other side but just because i need some more sharp knives i need knives that when i want to cut into a whole chicken that i can remember we already cleaned and did that so i'm just cutting up chop over here carrots for me i'm not fancy no particular way just cut it up so i can get into the pot now when i um skin the carrots i do cut off the ends now i rinsed off these greens i'm just gonna throw it in the pot 
Uh, greens make its own water, so you can actually look at look how healthy and beautiful that looks already. So you can. This smells amazing. I use red pepper because red pepper sometimes has different tastes. I like red pepper in my stuffing and in certain vegetable dishes with my chicken and then green pepper I use most of the time and everything. I'm like a hands-on cook, so that's why I have to be clean because I use my hands a lot when I'm cooking. When I used to cater, I tried to do it less and you you know use a spoon more for most things, but for my family, I use my hands. This is gonna cook down a lot, so I know it looks like a lot of greens and stuff, but it cooks down. Then we're gonna take the other half of the bag. And rinse them. And then I got some skinless chicken out for tomorrow. I mean, for tonight, this is like a lunch. This hopefully it might last, it might don't. Who knows, sometimes my kids will eat when I'm cooking for this fast and they'll make something else, but then sometimes they'll eat it. I like to use the Glories washed fresh collard greens because sis do not be trying to cut up stuff. I used to be like that. Now, you get older, you work smart, not hard. I'm gonna take some more of the garlic. Chop it on there, I'm done with the garlic. I'm gonna add some more, just a pinch of Glories. A pinch. Um, this doesn't have no salt at all. And this just has um, onions, chili peppers, uh, garlic, brown spices. And you know what? This says that it has brown sugar, so I can't even use any more of that because this fast consistent of no sugars. So that's a no-no. I'm glad I read it. That was Holy Spirit. Okay, garlic. I'm glad I only put a pinch, even though it probably doesn't have a lot because I never tasted it in it, but it doesn't matter. I am not trying to eat no sugars on my fast. So, and then the rest of this I'm gonna put on top um, once I put the last of the greens and then I gotta put the crushed tomatoes. See, that's why you gotta read stuff because stuff be having sugar in it and you don't even know. I gotta read the Lori, see if it has sugar in it. But it's gonna be all right because it's not a whole bunch um, in here. And God would not want me to be wasting this thing, you know? But it definitely is a reminder to read everything because I am not trying to mess up my fast at all. I'm really mad that's in there. I'm glad I read it. Guys. But yeah, that's the season I tend to use. Now for the crushed tomatoes, I'm only going to put a pinch. Now listen, you don't gotta go crazy like me. Some things might have sugar in it and you won't know you know can't help it but for the most part you want to be intentional you know if god led us to do that that's what you want to do you want to make sure that you are honoring his request and doing exactly how he says all right so i'm going to add some of these crushed tomatoes now honestly I don't have, I only put half of it. I don't have to put, um, let me get a spoon. I don't have to put the avocado spray, honestly, because the greens is gonna make water, so I'm not gonna spray the avocado spray on it. It just doesn't make sense to me. mix this up let's put the rest of this pack so we didn't have to go crazy on salts and stuff because 
Honey, this got a lot of salt in it. This is a lot of sodium in those bouillon, so you don't need to be adding, you know, extra salt, seasonings with salt. And that's why, you know, um, in the African community, we do like our food seasoned and tasty, don't get me wrong. But we got to be mindful because we do a lot of salts. And that makes you, it can make you bloated, you know. It can definitely uh, make you bloated. Well, that's sodium. It's no good. It give you high blood pressure, too. All right, so we mix this up, and you see how that big pack of greens did fit in here. Because, like I said, it does cook down. Now, let me show you what it looks like up close. <laughs> Doesn't that look so good, guys? So, we're going to bring it here to the stove. Put our lid over it and we let that cook so being that I'm doing no grains I won't have any because most grains have starches in it usually we did the Daniel fast and you could do grains with that but this fast is different so I would just I'm just gonna eat this by itself so it's like a little soup and it's going to be really really tasty so let me show you again how it looks guys that looks so good. let me see if I can turn the light on for you there you go that looks so good, doesn't it? So once that cooks down, oh my gosh, and the smells, it's going to smell amazing. From the stuff I put in it, and we're just gonna let that cook a good 30 minutes. That will be done in like 30, 40 minutes. Um, until then, I might watch a little TV, catch up on some YouTube, because I stayed up to four in the morning last night um, after I posted a couple things led by the Holy Spirit. I was finishing reading and studying because Sunday I do resume preaching. God gave me a little break. So guys, let me just clean up this mess and I guess I will see you in the next clip. All right, so I finished cleaning. As you can see, cleaned up my mess, honey, because we don't like messes. Um, I got like a little semi-rent and it's my channel, so I can do that. And it's my personal channel. I know how to separate, you know, when I'm standing on the altar and then in my life. Even though my life bear fruits, but, you know, I can speak more of my opinion here because it's my personal channel. But um, I say that to say, you know, a lot of people on Facebook, Instagram, and all of these things, you know, there's a lot of, if you hear my son screaming downstairs, he's in his man cave. Uh, which I'm going to show you sometime this week when I do my workout video. Um, you know, they got a lot to say. And personally, I know in my heart, a lot of them don't have the heart to really at me. But, you know, a lot of them are subliminally probably talking to me. But this is the thing. God showed the world what he was doing when he, um, get my little blanket here, because I'm about to watch a little TV, when he shut down the world. As far as I'm concerned, everybody is Facebook uh, uh, preaching and, and all that, because you really don't have no church to go to because of COVID and these things, right? So why people are so mad at people, the remnant that God is calling to use technology when the whole world is using technology? That's number one. One. Then number two, God can call anybody to do what he wants them to do. He had a donkey speak. So when a person be like, oh, Facebook preacher and all that, that already rubs me the wrong way because you already out of alignment because you trying to say who God can call. There are a million people on the pulpit that are in churches that are out of order, sleeping around, um, preaching from opinionated, more opinions than scriptures, and just crazy um, financial gains, just a hot mess. So when you doing that, it's like, come on, at me, son, at me, sis. That's number one, because I got time today. Number three, I think I'm on number three now. I don't even know. Because I'm, number, you cause I'm number two. You're number two. Wait, no, because I think I said number. You just said number one. <laughs> 
That's right, right. He's so tall. I don't even know if I'm catching him. But anyway, it's like, no, because I think before you came, I said number two. I don't even know. Y'all already know I'm a hot mess. Past the fouls, a hot mess. But it's like, yo, who are you? You know what I'm saying? Don't get mad at somebody because they're calling a spade and they're speaking the truth. Because the truth of the matter is, you supposed to be preaching in love. Especially these white preachers. I'm sorry. I have to keep it real. Not one time are you sitting down and talking about accountability. Talking about that there should be love. There are white people out there last yesterday night and yesterday day that had freaking Jesus flags and all that. You're supposed to, nobody has that number. That's for the fax machine for my business, y'all. People study calling it. That bugs me out. Nobody is trying to address that and, 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 and get it straight. You are supposed to preach the good news. You're supposed to preach truth. So you get mad when somebody's telling the truth. That was white privilege yesterday. How are you going to say white people always saying when somebody call out their mess that you talking about division. That's not division. That is the truth that white people keep division. And then when you want to disclose it and say the truth, they tell you you wrong for saying that it's division. Please miss me with that. Let me tell you something. I got white people that follow me that watch my videos that are in my ministry, they know I love them and I don't treat them no different than I treat black people, Chinese people, because we're all one. But we're not going to sit here and act like there's no issue in America, there's no issue in the world, especially against blacks and browns and Hispanics. You're not going to do that. Miss me with that. You know, so it just really upsets me when I see that because it's like, you the reason why it's, it's issues. You the problem, son. You the problem, sis, because you refuse to address the problem. Please, please. I'm done, y'all, because then when you know, after as you keep going, it becomes flesh. But I just had to like really be like, what? What are you talking about? Why? Why are you using your pulpit? Instead of saying that one time did I see any of those white pastors say, This is this is crazy. This is demonic. I can't believe that you doing this. But now it's you people spreading division. Bye. And I'm about to sit here and watch some YouTube, y'all, and take my phone and deleting some pastors, some pastors I sat under some pastors that I used to respect they gotta go because I don't got time I don't got time because you you the problem you the problem and God is showing people the real God is showing people the real postures of the heart you understand what I'm saying that's what he's doing in 2020 I told people that and in 2021 it's harvest time so or everybody who sold discord so beautifully whatever you sold you receiving and I, I spoke about that on my channel Fallon Brown um, that's my teaching channels. I'll put the link in the description. I spoke about all that. Like, please, no, nobody, and especially me, nobody's going to shut me up. Because one thing, I'd never speak, um, you know, like, from flesh. Like, right now I'm ranting because I'm human, but I'm still in order with the word of God. You know, I never use my influence to try to sway somebody to be evil. No, I speak the truth. You understand what I'm saying? And Satan don't like that. So all my sisters and brothers, whether you white, black, Puerto Rican, whatever, you speak the truth and people try to shut you up, they got to deal with God. Don't you dim your light. Don't you shut up. As long as you know you in alignment with the word of God, don't you shut up for nobody. So back to regular schedules on Foul B TV. <laughs> Let me find something to watch though. But nah, for real, like that was crazy. And Rara is always in my business. Like, I don't know if I was on number two or number three, but whatever it was, I got my plane at crut. <laughs> It's the word, that part. Let me tell y'all, I shouldn't have never got this camera. Because y'all going to be like, yo, foul is dropping. Make, I'm dropping videos two to three times a week. Like, I'm not playing. I'm dropping um, my blogs. Ooh, I'm going to put my description in my blogs too. Two or three times a week. Like, I'm going hard for 2021. I am making sure that I leave a print. I'm going hard, hard, hard. I'm going to grow out. Well, God's going to grow this ministry regardless. But this ministry is so effective. And I just thank God that he makes sure, you know, that we real over here but um yeah so that was it that's what i had to say and don't i look so much better than yesterday y'all because yesterday i had to comb my hair and all that yesterday i looked dried like but i was i was cute though i had on a silk suit that my kids bought me from uh for christmas because i love my little silk stuff uh all right guys this is my deacon it's elect all right, guys, hold on. I got to answer this. This is my deacon to select. Hold on, sis. Let me end my um vlog. All right, guys, I'll check you in a minute. All right, sis. This is what I'm wearing. It's just like workout clothes. Um, I got sneakers on. 
And my Jessica Simpson bag. I know I like bringing this bag with me everywhere because it's just easy. Because out here, I'm always saying I'm getting one thing is when I go to the supermarket, a million things, so I'm not worry about a pocketbook. And my jacket, I love this coat. This coat is just like, it's so cute. But yeah, just cute and simple, you know. Um, and just some lashes and, you know, highlighted my eyebrows a little bit, but for the most part, that's it. I noticed when I was looking at the last clip that I keep looking up top like that, right? Because the thing flips and that's not right. I'm supposed to be looking at you guys like, hey sis, so my bad for that. I gotta get used to this camera. I love it so much. I did say I'm bringing it with me, so I am. Um, what else do I wanna say? Um, yeah, that's about it. So, oh, it's more lighting over here. So I see you guys in a little bit. My ride should be here in a couple minutes and I see you in the next clip. Um, I just pray that I make my um, appointment for 2 p.m. I had a video chat meeting, so I hope that goes well. And mother nature has kicked, so my head hurt and stomach. Y'all know how that is, sis, you know how that is, like. I love everything about being a woman, but that part is just like, oh. So yeah. All right, I'll see you guys in the next hey, clip. Hey, hey, hey. Then if you hear that AA, hey, hey, that's Prince in there on his game. And somebody's alarms downstairs. Like my house is just always on one. Let's see, I'm recording now. This is my brother Big Head. He's so what handsome. What up, what up? But he's not single anymore, ladies. No. Definitely not. So, <laughs> don't be trying to act. Especially on video, 100% not. <laughs> <laughs> Joking, y'all love it, baby. KK. Is it a insurance Yeah. I have to pay the $5. We're in T-Mobile now. In T-Mobile. I am switching out my phones because I'm tired of looking so illiterate. I freaking press can and it's saying ran. Like, I'm just over it. So, hey, I'm over these masks too, but I'm gonna keep my mask on. Uh, so, uh, we'll catch you later. We gotta do this. I'll catch you in Costco's. Bye. All right, guys. So, I am back like I never left. Um, my. Batteries are charged, so the last clips were on my phone, which were good. Um, I got some juice, y'all. I was able to get some juice <laughs> some with the vegetables and the fruits from the juicer. I, it, I, you know what, though? I'm proud of myself. This fast is to February 9th, so I just thank God for technology that I am able to... Um, you know get my juice in other ways so so i'm gonna go downstairs real quick i wanted to show you guys my let me watch my steps where i'm going down. my warehouse some people had orders so i'm showing you I, I looked up, I looked up Jinxie. All right, look it up. There's no point in you looking in the world. Go ahead. They're bad, they're bad. Yes, 2000 PR. So Boy, legend. he is a gamer and right. in the that's gaming that's community. Awesome. He's really good. Um, he does crazy numbers on YouTube and um, you know, we're blessed. We're blessed. So I just thank God for that. Um, you know, we're able to pay bills. You know what I'm saying? So through certain ways. So I really do. I thank God for that. But that was the warehouse. Um, I actually got to go back down there. And hold on, let me look this up because I don't know if I'm looking at it right. Give me one second, guys. 
middle ground fragrance. And obviously fragrances are... So I'm actually going to go back down here. Um, I have to pick up some stuff so I can pack up. I got some orders. I just wanted to show you. I can do it maybe another day because he's streaming. And you know, I don't want to mess up his little thing. He got to make his little money or whatever. Get his son. But um, yeah. <laughs> So I'm gonna go down there and um, I'll catch you. If I don't catch you tonight, I probably will catch you tomorrow. I think I do have to go back out um, to Whole Food. They didn't have the ASEA stuff and my ASEA bowl was just bomb. Um, my TV is mad loud. Is mad loud. I wanna show you why. If you see in back of me, that's Aaliyah. It smells bougie. It smells I like her. I like her channel. She's funny. She's funny. So, alright guys, so I'm gonna catch you later. Sis. Yes, you are supposed to rental of steaks. So, we got my boy in here, Chef Boy Out Prince. Princey, what up, Pete? What you about to do? What you about to do? What you about to do, Prince? He about to make that New York strip, you know what I'm saying? Rara, are you eating? You not you not eating one of the, the steaks, Prince Cook? No offense, but no. Why well, not? <laughs> because like eggs is not compared to steak. Like it's not. I trust thing. my son, but I'm eating. Wait, how much should I tip him? Uh, five dollars. You got any garlic? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, you gotta tip him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tip him. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Alright. Alright, guys. So this is the steak that the boys made. Those are the crab cakes from the uh ghetto haul I showed you from Costco. I'm about to eat my steak. They did that. I just wanted to show y'all because I know y'all probably want to see. Alright, gotta eat. Bye.